today's journey is from Broome to 80 Mile Beach and this was our first stop at this rest stop 160 kilometers from Broome. Okay, sand fires next, another 160k. Alright. Well, this is the kind of thing you encounter on the roads up in the outback. So I have to get off the road here for a little while to let these big mining trucks through. Then this is um, Sandfire Roadhouse. There's a little peacock there, uh, wandering along whilst we're trying to get fuel. And uh, to this roadhouse from, from Roebuck, the previous roadhouse, was nearly 300 kilometres. So certainly a long distance between rest stops and fuel stops. And then from here to 80 Mile Beach uh, is 45 kilometres down the highway and then 10 kilometres uh, along a gravel road, which will be coming up uh, in a little while. And that the uh, raining most of today, uh, it's not heavy but just sprinkling most of the way down. But it's quite nice. So this is um, the end, uh, coming up towards the end of the 10 kilometre drive down the gravel road and we're just arriving at 80 mile beach caravan uh, park. And uh, what a beautiful place this is. Really pleased that we came here, we're staying here for three days. That's uh, us set up and there's a lovely little uh, store here. It doesn't have a lot but uh, we have got these scones. Well here we are at 80 mile beach. It's raining. What a fantastic caravan park this is. We don't have much at the shop but what they've got is clean and fresh. How's your fresh scones and cream? <laughs> what a surprise on me. Lovely. And they've got homemade pie, mashed potatoes and peas for dinner tonight. Not bad, eh? So the birds are very friendly here. There's this one coming up and uh, saying hi to us. And um, then uh, next, coming up now here, we'll see uh, the beach in the morning uh, for my morning run. There's the sunrise at one end of the beach. This is in the morning and a lovely uh, 10k run on the beach here. And then uh, later you'll see the sun set at the other end of the beach. Uh, quite amazing that you can see both the sunrise and the sunset on the beach here. And then this is the caravan park. Yeah, so they've got 150 powered sites here. And uh, they don't never turn anyone away, they say. If, you, if a powered site's not available, then you, they'll give you an unpowered site for the night. And then you can get a powered site in the morning. And um, they're just about full every day. to uh, clean your fish here, special area, fish, fish cleaning area. Certainly set up for fishermen. Look at these hedges. How well maintained are they? My oh, goodness. It's the same all over the place. It's not a dive. Anywhere you look. No, it's a... Uh, very well looked after here. Yeah, I'll definitely come here again. Mm. So here we are enjoying the sunset. Um, so this is the same day I showed you earlier the sunrise at the mm. other end of the beach, mm -hmm. and then this is the sun setting on the same beach from the very same spot. Um, just amazing. Look at that. And you can see the reflection there in, on, in the uh, 
uh, mud flaps there as the tide is out. So, apart from fishing, which is certainly very popular here, you can go searching for shells, which is definitely a better thing to do, and very popular as well. Colourful. Yeah. Mm. That's a lovely photo of our last day here in on 80 Mile Beach. Tomorrow we continue the journey travelling to Port Hedland and we'll cover that in the next video.